one's ever built a Phoenician ship like this, and I doubt whether another one will be built like this for a, a very long time. So, and what we're trying to do in circumnavigating Africa is really difficult and challenging, and therefore, uh, you know, those guys who've been selected to take part in this have a wonderful opportunity and a, and a great adventure ahead of them. This boat uh, doesn't have any winches, it doesn't uh, have any autopilot, it doesn't have an engine, and the sailing is, is pretty tough and as, as, mo as, as basic as you can get. Two, six, ah. We're looking for people that really um, yeah, have a sense of adventure, but they really want to push themselves to the limit, and that's basically what we're going to do, without a doubt. The only alternative we have to sail on board is we have 20 oars manufactured. I think it's going to be very hard to row. I believe the displacement is 50 tons. So with a dozen to 14 oars, we have to move 50 tons. I've done a lot of rowing, but I've never rowed a boat this size in my life. Sibros. Beirut. Istanbul. The Phoenicians did invent the swivel, didn't they? Yeah. Right before they invented the nail, they invented the swivel. <laughs> it's been a nightmare working, walking on the ballast plates, um, but it will be quite luxurious when we actually get a, a deck or a floor in, you know. Which... Will it be, really be luxurious? Ah, uh, well more so than it has been. <laughs> it's been very, very hot, very uncomfortable, and um, the smell of pitch pine and um, tar, and um, yeah, it's been difficult. Is but we got there. It? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I think we've been on the sail about five days, and there's been a team of about three or four of us working flat out. The Phoenicians started making a sort of indigo dye by um, crushing the shells of a certain snail. But obviously we don't have access to those snails anymore and the, the paint that we've been using is a lot pinker than it probably should be. It's looking really good. We're pleased with our progress. Wait, wait! We finally got here to the, to the gangplank to, to take it onto the ship. The sunny, there were six people plus this half ton sail standing on the gangway. And suddenly all the nails were popping out and this, the gangway started doing this and everyone was kind of half trying to keep carrying on the sail but also trying to hold onto it so they didn't fall into the harbour water, which is horrible. And um, we got kind of half of it on and then everyone just said, get off the gangway! And everyone kind of you know, leapt for life. This afternoon was quite eventful. Stop! There was a, there's a block which basically acts as a, from what I can gather, as a pulley mechanism to hoist the yard up. Um, so we were trying to get that block to the top of the mast and uh, as we were doing that the rope twisted and, and turned and, uh, and, and we couldn't get it up there. There was lots of debate between all the guys on board and lots of the locals and uh, yeah, it turned into a bit of a of a mission. The launch is in like two days' time, um, and we really wanted to get out sailing today. It's not going to happen because on Sunday, which is 48 hours' time, you know, we have to take the first lady on a little voyage across to Tartus. And if, if we haven't done any practice sails, then it could be, it could be quite interesting. The ceremony itself was absolutely fantastic. It was really good and colourful, singing, and dancing. All the island was all lined up on the jetties, so it was absolutely spectacular to see everybody turn out for it. So there was um, a singer that was all painted gold down her arms, down her face, and she sang a song which was um, dated back to 600 BC that I found 
some notes inscribed on a, on a stone tablet from that area. And then the first lady came out and sailed with us. Right at the end, she actually came down and asked to have a go. Do we not need to go right slightly? No, well, he's we heading right. straight for the harbour entrance now. It's not as easy as it looks, <laughs> trust me. You need, you need muscle, definitely. Maybe got one or two blisters and we got lots of tar all over our clothes, but actually no one's got hurt. And um, I think a lot of people are very impressed with what we've done and uh, think actually we've got the makings of a very good project. Now around 90% of passengers sitting on an average seven